Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and with me is my commentary partner Lee Dixon and we've got what we hope will be exciting league action coming up for you. It's Ajaxio and they take on Socho. Cheers Derek, yes excited about this one. Interesting matchup for me, we should get a good game here hopefully. And the lineup for the home side. It looks like a conventional 4 4 2. A preferred formation by Arsene Wenger when he arrived at Arsenal. Two main strikers, four across the midfield. Really important for the fullbacks to link up with the wide midfielders in this system. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Would you call it 4-5-1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4-2-3-1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And so the battle commences. Given away. Tiun. Looks promising this. And scope for the cross. And well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Coutadeur. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. He continues to make hay. Options around him. Throw-ins given. He could pick out a teammate. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Absolutely magnificent goalkeeping. Oh, he's almost turning away. He thinks he's scored. The goalkeeper doesn't. Now the delivery. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. An abundance of space. Smuggled away. Diallo. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Coutadeur. Mathieu Coutadeur. And crossed in the direction of the back post. 
And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been saying. But now the opening goal's gone in, tactics have got to change. Well, he put some superb balls in from the wide areas, and that one's probably the best. And what did they get? Reward, a goal. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. Possession and patience, the watchwords. And it's played into the centre. Taking care of business defensively here. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball. But when they've had the ball, they keep delivering the sucker punch. A great advert for low-possession, counter-attacking football. It's really working. Now he must favour the cross. And clears his lines. what you might call a jaw-dropping save. Oh, he's got no right to make that save. It's absolutely fantastic. Well, Derek, it's a massive help to a team when you hear your fans as loud as this. Can they utilise their energy? Oh, nice work to get past his opponent. Cross blocked. Attractive looking move, easy on the eye, but nothing there. And there it is, the half time whistle. Well, this man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Lee. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously, got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Fluency of movement. Fruitful looking attack. It's there for him! Well, first-rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. He's driven in the corner. Tiun. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. Well, high marks for that pass. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game.
And no problems whatsoever for the goalkeeper. And 30 minutes left for play in this match. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And over comes the corner. Really wanted to get it past the first defender then. Now can he deliver accurately? Well, as the attacking side, you might dispute it, but offside by a hair. Yes, yeah, spot on from the linesman. Spot on, but he was close. And a substitution in the offing. The visitors have had total control of possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. A chance maybe from the wide position. Patient enough build-up, can they carve out a chance? Kiyun. Really good reading of the game to win possession back. Kiyun. Well, if they carry on doing their jobs, they should be fired in this game. The fans are certainly doing their bit. Real danger. Throw-ins given. Kiyun. Surely! And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. We've been waiting to find out. Now we know a minimum of three added minutes here. Well, it must be mighty annoying when you can't get near the ball. Couldn't keep it. And there it is, the final whistle. Well, he puts in a really thorough performance tonight, Lee. Well, he's always a danger, isn't he? No more so when he grabbed that goal. He never disappoints me when I watch him. He's just too good, simple.